I have an assistant here with me, Kevin Jones, uh, who's been flying for several years, but have always been afraid to actually perform the auto rotation process. So with this, I'm going to utilize him just to demonstrate to you that auto rotation is, in fact, simple <laughs> and fun to do. And Kevin, don't laugh about that. That's, that's the truth. But uh, to get the aircraft set up first, uh, uh, we have a radio that has a throttle hold, which allows you, once you flip the switch, it allows you to uh, dis disengage your throttle from your collective pitch, thereby giving you an idle uh, configuration on the aircraft while still having uh, free reign on the collective itself. On this uh, aircraft here at the altitude in uh, Boulder, Colorado, we prefer to run approximately eight, plus eight degrees to about a minus two degrees. But we find that about a minus one degree is just about right. So the area that you're flying at will have a lot to do with it. Like at sea level, I'm sure you you probably be comfortable with maybe a minus three and maybe uh, even at, at a plus seven at some cases there. But uh, we need to determine again how much uh, pitch we have on the aircraft. So in doing so, what we need to do is, uh, the way I, I check this out is, Kevin, I run the aircraft just when she's just about getting to a hover, mm -hmm. and I'll hit my throttle hold and let the uh, blade dissipate speed for a while or energy, then give max pitch to see if the air aircraft actually jumps off the ground. Okay. If it does, we know that the aircraft has sufficient amount of pitch in the uh, aircraft. So at this time, let's go ahead and check if we have sufficient amount of pitch. Okay. I'll go ahead and rev it up. Just get it where it's getting light-footed on the ground there. It's, just it's a actually going to get off the ground? Yeah, just, uh, just get it slightly off the ground if necessary, then hit your idle hold, okay? There you go, coming out. Okay, hit the idle hold. Hit the idle hold. There you go. Dissipating. Oh, there you go. Well, I found that uh, in many instances, uh, people are afraid where the aircraft uh, really gets close to the ground, and that's what auto rotation is all about. So in, in that regard, what uh, I've introduced is a backwards learning process. That is, we're going to start from the ground up and move in the higher direction there because you can fly, you can fly good. It's just that you're afraid when it, the aircraft gets close to the ground without any power. So to do that, what we're going to do is uh, several exercises. Uh, it's going to be building up in steps. We're going to start at about two feet level, get in the hover, hit the throttle hold, okay, disengaging the collective, whereby I want, at that time, I want you to give max pitch and to your left, okay, because you still have tail rotor control in this uh, initial phase. We'll do that several times. The idea, the attempt here is for you to get the feel of the aircraft actually landing and how soft it is on the ground. Mm -hmm. Then we'll get it up about maybe five, uh, four to five feet there. Do the same thing. Get the feel of the aircraft hitting the ground there. Okay. We'll do that until you feel comfortable, okay? Or until we run out of blades. Oh, right. <laughs> no, don't worry. We're going to save a lot of blades here. And the next, next thing is uh, we're going to get it up about maybe six foot high, just above our heads there, okay? And let, let it fall down again on the ground and recover by giving max pitch. This time you're going to kind of delay the process of in, uh, including pitch. Okay. Then the next, ex next one we're going to go up to about maybe uh, 10 to 12 feet high. The la and that's what we call the last uh, point because from there, what I want you to do as you get up there in front of you is to cut the power, but this time hold, I mean, not cut the power, give throughout a hold, mm -hmm and pull negative, okay, on your pitch. Okay. Now, as it passes in front of your eyes, at, or at eye level, what you do is you increase your pitch, the same exercise we did at the two feet, four feet level there, okay? So the first exercise I want you to do, that's what we're gonna do until you feel comfortable. Then we're gonna take it up and actually do the auto rotation process. Okay. And you'll find that the auto rotation power off is much easier than the exercise we'll be doing here. Yeah, there you go. Face the helicopter in the direction of the wind, okay? Get it up in the two feet hover. That's about right. Hold it steady. Give it a steady hover there. Okay, now try to hold the uh, throttle hold. Give the throttle hold and feel. There you go, pitch and left. Okay, now note how the aircraft just went to the right there. Uh -huh. That's why it's important to give left stick oh, at the same time. Because that's correct, left. because okay. you still have uh, tail rotor power in there, okay? So try it again. And you'll find that in the actual auto rotation, you don't have to worry about tail rotor because it's it's ineffective anyway, but for this, we need the uh, power in there. So again, remember, two feet hover. There you go. When you go to throttle hold, full pitch and to the left, okay? Throttle hold, full pitch and to the left. There you go, how about that? Okay, feel comfortable now. We're gonna go a little higher the next step. Let's bring it out to, up to about an eye level. Four feet, five feet, however tall you are. Not four feet. <laughs> Remember, we're going to do the same thing again. Get it up, eye level, steady, 
throttle hold and power again, okay? Oh, pitch and power, pitch and left. There you go. Good, good, good. So let's get it up a little higher. And uh, again, uh, the process, get it above your head, about maybe 10 foot or so. Then bring in, cut the uh, throttle hold, bring in a little negative, pass eye level, and do the same exercise that we did here. Okay. Okay, a little higher, you, you might get a little shook up. She might bounce, but get the feel for it. Okay. Go for it, guy. Okay, steady and into the wind again. Don't forget that. Oh, yes, looking real good. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. So that's the point. You know, at least you've got enough energy in the blades, and that's what you're looking for. Uh, just to feel confident that the aircraft is really not falling down flat, but you still have sufficient amount of energy in the blades. Okay. Go ahead and do it again a couple of times. Like I indicated, this exercise is much, much more difficult than the actual auto rotation itself. If you want to go a little higher, that's good too now, okay? There you go. That's a comfortable range there. Throw out a whole pitch. All right. Okay, don't worry about that, but at least you didn't ruin the aircraft. You got the feel for it, okay? How do you feel? You ready? Real good. Huh? Okay, let's do it. Okay. I'll Forget now. When you cut your power, keep it uh, in a slightly nose-high attitude. When you cut nose the power, high. just a slight nose-high attitude. Nose We've got one, about one degree in here. Don't forget to hold it all the way down negative okay. and get the feel for it. I will not talk you through it. I'm just going to tell you, okay, cut, and you're going you're gonna to be on your own, but you're going to feel it. It's going to be very comfortable. And don't forget, we just finished up the 12-foot, 10-foot uh, height auto rotation but this time you're going to come with some slight forward speed so i want you to give a little flare keep holding the negative now oh, flare with cyclic yeah flare with cyclic keep your negative don't touch it until you slow the aircraft zero speed level off then increase your pitch okay and you'll find at this point it takes only about half a throttle half a pitch to uh, keep the actual uh, auto rotation process going okay okay you can do it try it so just keep in mind a little nose high attitude and go, okay? Everything checks out. Boy, it looks good. Take it around. There you go. Slow and easy. Yep. Wind is in the right direction there. Come back around again. There you go. Slow and easy. There you go. Okay, okay cut. Now negative. There you go. Slightly nose high. There you go. Looking good. Nice no, so pitch. There we go. All right. Congratulations piece of again, cake. huh? Thanks, man. I tell you, it's a piece of cake for anything. Uh, like I said, just practice those exercises to build up your confidence. We'll do it all the time, and I know you could do it. I know you had it in you. I've been afraid of that for this long. I know. Well, that's the thing. I think if you out there have also practiced the same exercise that Kevin has uh, demonstrated to you, that you also will build the confidence and uh, be able to do the auto rotation itself. So with that, all I can say is continue practicing this exercise, and don't forget, break a blade. <laughs>